Boob. Um, we are on the mountain face. Yeah, where we go? What is that? Weather station. What? What? I'll see you soon. This fucking button. That fucking button. Um. I need another pet rock. Oh, that makes. What have I got? What am I doing here? Found it on eBay. Urgent. But I don't have it. Oh, I have to go to somewhere. Um. Okay. Okay, so now I'm I'm going to doctor, so I can get to Mountaineer. Doctor, doctor, I got a bad case of loving you. A path you laid down was used by someone else. The cat. Potato, 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 potato. No, oh, come on. At least he didn't roll down all the way. I really want to see you on one of those little scooty trays. Well, that's probably not going to happen anytime soon. They'll be foony as fuke. I thought we'd already gone down there. This is a very... Oh, it's a different one. Yeah. Let's go. Um, let's <coughs> go. Let's go. Oh, for God's sake. Cut. Oh. Yeah, right in the center of them, laddie. Yeah, I know. Boop, 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 it's a blue smile. So is your face. Thank you. Um, you haven't watched anything new? Um, all old stuff. Um, I've watched the entire Chucky series up until this point. Uh -huh. It's been good, because they finally got um, Brad Dourif back in to play it, who's the voice of Chucky, but he hasn't played it since the original movie. Mm. So it's a nice little thing. Not tell a lie, he did a flashback scene in one of the older movies. Okay. But it was only like for five, like a minute. Mm -hmm. Still, it was a nice little addition. Mm -hmm. It's also got a weird thing of like when you hear it coming out of an actual, the, the voice coming out of an actual person is weird. Mm -hmm. Watching. I feel like I've watched something. I've, uh, I've watched something new. Like I put in a movie. Oh, I watched Blue Beetle. Oh yeah. It was um. Crap. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> it truly wasn't anything exciting. Nah. I think Marvel's getting oversaturated. Well, that's not a Marvel. It's a DC. Is it? Oh. Yeah. Well, Marvel. Who's got a weird name? But I think Marvel's getting up. Batman too. isn't a weird name. <laughs> what do you think about it? Not really. Okay. But I do think it is getting up. Like Star Wars. Yeah. Like there's there's another new show. Eh? Yeah, I think there's like been five new shows since we started this get um, playthrough. Since we started this freaking session. Sorry. Hmm. When did Andor come out? A while ago, and it was pretty good. Like, you're trash talking shit you haven't watched. That's well, it's getting overset. Like, you can't say it's oversaturated. You haven't watched. Like, if they it's possible that they're all good, and there's just a lot of them. Also, that's not Marvel. That's Star Wars. Yeah, no. 
It was just, I mean, it's the same thing. That's getting yeah, a lot of that is happening now. Like ages ago, there was like just nothing else. Like there was just the three Star Wars movies. Yeah. Then a while passed, and it was like the prequels. What, what, also, which one as bad as people say? I cannot stress this enough. There was never just the three Star Wars movies. There were truly a thousand books. Well, I'm talking about the movies, the visual. Yeah. I had some of the books. I just couldn't read them. Well, you're not a reader. No. I got a Star Wars book in like primary school. I was like, ah, oh, this is going to be interesting. It was like a fucking brick thick. Hmm. I was like, oh god. Some of the because some of those old books were like truly beloved and acclaimed. Oh yeah, like some of the um, expanded universe is more beloved than some of the main s stories. Yeah. The. Thrawn was so good that they went to lengths to bring him into the new canon. Ah! Like, you know, Thrawn, the blue guy? Red eyes? He's a, an Imperial... Okay. It's well, coming to me. The Thrawn trilogy, the original Thrawn trilogy by Timothy Zahn, mm -hmm. was uh, pre-Disney era. Yeah. God, I don't even actually know when they were written. I don't know if they were post or pre-prequel. -pre um, but they existed. Pre prequel. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, um, probably pre prequel. That's possible. Where the fuck am I? Oh, okay, this happened. All right. Well, we're getting in the car. I was never like the biggest Star Wars fan to begin with. That's the main thing. Mm -hmm. like, everyone loved it, but like. I keep reiterating this point, but it's like, it's the reason why I can't really get into it, because all the main stuff was spoiled before I was even born. Yeah. So just, like, I'd watch it, it's like, it's just an old movie now. Mm. Like, have you watched some of the old fight scenes? Yeah. Good <laughs> God. Some of the, um, like, there's a lot of good stuff. The original trilogy, there's a lot of stuff wrong with it. Yeah. Like, I can even... i watched several, like, instances where uh, Mark Hamill got interviewed about them. Yeah. And he's just, like... He's, like, apologizing for Yeah. It. He, he, like, went to George Lucas. It's like, this is not how people talk. Yeah. And, like, there was one part when, they're, like, they're just about to go into the Death Star. Yeah. And freaking... Anakin's given... Not Anakin. Freaking... Luke is given this whole speech about like how to like penetrate the defenses and stuff like that and it's just like it's almost like he's just planned the like the invasion of Stalingrad within the last two seconds yeah I love it when he like um when Mark Hamill does his impression of um, Harrison Ford yeah and how Jabba was um originally just a big Scottish guy yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and how Peter Mayhew, who plays um, Chewbacca, actually spoke lines for them to react to. Gosh. And then they dubbed in the <laughs> later on. <laughs> Which I wish they kept in just his lines, because it was just a really posh British accent mm. coming through this big Wookiee. The old man's mad. You said it, Chewie. Yeah, okay. Thanks. Thanks, yeah. And I'm hoping there's going to be a new collection of um, the Venture Brothers coming out soon. Oh, yeah? Because that's... That's still going? No, ended. Oh. Finished. You're having for like a whole complete box yeah. set. Oh, yeah. I might... Then I might give you the, like, the stuff I've already got. Yeah. I'm not turning it down. Mm -hmm. But, like, there would have to be blue rails or like that. Because I've forgotten, like, where I'm up to. Yeah. Like, how much I've got of it. And I'm, I'm convinced I've actually lost one of the DVDs somewhere. Oh, yeah. But it's been that long since I've watched it, it's like, I don't even know where to start looking. Yeah. Uh, let me... Let's try. 
long range three. Because it said they would keep do, um, keep doing it as long as there was um, some wanting for it. Yeah. But they said it was like oh, we've actually just run out of ideas. We can't think of anything. Yeah. We might be back in the future, but from now it's just can't think of anything. Yeah. yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Like I like how they did that before it just went stale. Like it became another Simpsons. Yeah. Knowing when to end's a good idea. Mm. Except for your South Park. Keep going as long as you can. Yeah. <laughs> they don't run out of ideas. They no. just get slowly more unhinged. Yeah, it's it's awesome. Because, yeah, and because it's a social commentary, so they've always got ammunition. Yeah, they just talk about stuff. I love how they had to rewrite a whole freaking season because Donald Trump got elected. Yeah. Because no one saw it coming. No, no one thought he was going to win. Yeah, they said that was the stupidest possible outcome was President Trump, and it happened. Hmm. <coughs> I haven't seen any stuff about Joe Biden, though. But I haven't watched it in ages, and that's another thing. Um, I don't think they go on about it much, because he's not... He's very boring. <laughs> yeah, it's just... He's just not the most interesting guy in the world. No, he seems to walk off a lot. Yeah. Uh-oh. It's fine. Have you seen that video of him where he's, like, got his, like, guards, and he's just wandering around? Yeah. Okay. Like, the good thing about Donald Trump is he kept in the spotlight, so he knew every single movie he was making, so it's just like... Yeah. If, he's, if he was out of the spotlight, it was like, shit, stop panicking. Yeah. Okay, I'm back. Because I'm convinced of this whole Gaza thing was going on when he was a president. He would have leveled one of them by now. Yeah. <clears throat> I think that's the, why they waited wait until he got out. It's like, the big scary orange man. Because mm. he is a scary motherfucker. I watched um, Pomlon 2 the other day. Mm. mentioned this on my channel. And yeah, he's like one of the cameos in it. Mm. And that's before he went all orange and bleached hair. And he looked normal. Uh, you and you. They just don't make Christmas movies like that anymore. Hmm. Can you remember it? The second one? Which one? What are we talking about? Um, Home Alone. Huh. Um, yeah. I can remember. The it. whole bit where he gets electrocuted, that's the funniest part. Because yeah. literally what they do is they do a smash cut to a skeleton wearing the guy's clothes. What are you doing? What are you doing, guy? What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay. What are you doing? Turn. Your job is to turn to the right. What the fuck is going on? Are you off balance? Is this the problem? I, I've got a lot of weight. Look at look at all the shit on me. I just got to get to the car. No, not into the pole. I think the control is about to explode. Yeah. Come on. And you just roll down the mountain. You can do it. You can do it. You just gotta get a little closer. That's all. <laughs> Jeffers. <laughs> Crypto bots. That's better. Yeah, there we go. Run like the wind. Don't you mean wind? I've only seen it written. I've only read it in books. I start out. I started watching this React channel. Uh huh. Don't judge me. Um, it's an American guy that starts. He started to watch all the British TV shows, like the old, old comedies and stuff like that. Right. Just watching his reaction, and he was like, this would be cancelled, like, the second yeah. it came on, like, American TV. It's just him losing his mind at Monty Python. Mm. 
and he's just started watching the Blackadder series. Oh yeah. He loves the first series, and everyone's gonna and everyone's saying, "Nah!" As soon as you get from the second one onwards, you're gonna hate the first series. Yeah. God, the first one sucks ass. I still hold that the fourth season is the best one. Um, I'd agree. I don't feel like that's a very controversial statement. Mm. The third one's quite good. The second one's good. The f just the first one is just yeah bad. It's uh, objectively I, bad. I don't even know how. Like it's it's not the same show. It's objectively just a different show. Yeah. <sighs> this the set pieces and stuff is awesome. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, I'm trying to deliver this. Like, he's a complete dumbass in the first season. Yeah. And then he gets his own feet in the second mm. season. Mm. Uh, second season is Queen Elizabeth. You, yep. Yeah. And that's when Melchit comes in. And replaces the um, king. I think Hugh Laurie comes in third season and replaces um, the guy who plays Percy. Right. Hugh Laurie is in the third season. He's yeah. not in the second. No, I don't think so. It might have a cameo. On this I can't. Uh, I, I honestly can't remember much. It's ages case, since so. I watched it. Yeah, but now I'm watching it because he's watching it now. So I thought I'd bother that because it's good because I'm seeing a lot of free movies as well. Yeah. It's not the worst thing in the world. Mm. Like, usually I detest React channels. Because mm. usually they're just over the top and just like, Oh my god, I would never guess that! And they'll just be like, shut the fuck up. Mm. I like it because he's like genuinely wanting to watch these old comedies. Mm. And they are good ones that he's watching. He's watched, um... Gone through the whole of, um... Good god. Mm. Um... Only fools and horses, and that was good. The oh, fuck. Okay, thank you. And he's going through all black books and stuff like that. Oh yeah. Have you ever watched black books? No. I feel it was like if you never met me and started running a bookshop. Okay. So very happy and pleasant. You have no idea. I want to show you, like, I want to show you some clips from that show. Oh shit, hang on a second. I've seen clips of it. I, I, I get the concept. Uh, just need to check something. November oh. 3. Is this piece of bread already built? It's weird. Okay. Oh. Well, eh. a show I want to go and see. It's on the day before I come back home. Oh. That's the only bet. Like, I love working a week on, week off. The only problem is everything seems to fall in the fucking week I'm yeah. there. It is annoying. The one thing that used to shit me off is, like, back when it was two and one. Mm. There was no such thing as a Wednesday for me. Yeah. But whenever you booked everything or someone needed something done, it was always on a fucking Wednesday. Yeah. Oh, we can do that on Wednesday for you. Like, I just told you I'm going to be fucking away then. Yeah. Uh, why can't you do it Wednesday? Oh, fuck God's sake. Because I'm not going to be in town. Yeah. The degree to which people don't listen is fucking staying. I mean. Yeah. How about next Thursday? You know, I just said the Wednesday when I go back to work. I'm not going to come back the day after. Uh, sorry, you're making it too hard for us to do that. It's, no, we're not. Making it hard on yourself. Mm. If there's a whole slog a week that I'm free, yeah. and you can't be free one of them? Yeah, literally, like, I had to do something, and, like, literally every single week I was home, they couldn't do it. Every single week I was away, oh, perfectly fine. To the point I went, you know what, fuck it. And it was like, yeah, you're probably not the best customer for us, sir. Like, fuck off. Blaming customer. Can't be that bad. Jesus. 
You're inside a truck. I know. I just want to find a mountain goat. There are no animals around. That's what kind of is missing. Because they all die because of the time rain. Or oh, the ghosts eat them. Have you ever watched that movie, the movie? Uh, Paul. Yeah, of course. <laughs> it's a great movie. I haven't watched it in a bit though. Yeah. Check what service it's on. I'm gonna say Netflix. I'm gonna guess binge. No, Stan. It's on Stan. Feels like a Stan movie. They're really good at stealing the shit I wanna watch. Yep. <coughs> yeah? Stan? Nope. It's on Amazon Prime for four dollars. Well that's not It's on binge? Binge. You did, at first. Yeah. But you retracted, so it doesn't count. Uh, how about that fuck is Because this is back when, like, I didn't have any, um... subscription services, so I got just all the DVDs of everything. Yeah. Never thought I would have to do that again, but apparently I have to do that now. Yep. Yeah. Fucking capitalism. Also, yay, capitalism. Yeah. The best and worst thing ever created. <coughs> What's socialism? Uh, it's like a watered down version of communism. Oh, well, not really. Communism. I was gonna say, uh, I don't want that shit. No. Socialism is one of those things that means eight different things. No. Oh. A lot of people have just defined it differently. Oh, what well, are those things? Yeah. Okay. I win. Because I know the, like, fucking. There shouldn't be such a thing as a billionaire. That's the thing. Yeah. Nobody needs a billion dollars. No. Like, life wouldn't even be worth it at that point. Yeah. Just like, I've got all the money that I have need ever. Yeah. I've lost all meaning. Fine, I can find a use for it, but yeah. Yeah. Wouldn't say no. I would, actually. I think the most comfortable amount of money, 10 million. But I'm not opposed to there being billionaires. I'm mm. opposed to there being so few taxes that... It allows them. Yeah, just it lets them be a bunch of billionaires and way, way more people who can't yeah. afford anything. Yeah. I can know people that work around the clock and can't even rub two cents together. Yeah. Like, I'm in a very well comfortable area. Yeah. But still, I can't afford a house. Yeah, right? Hmm. But you still get those people who's like, oh, just work harder. Do you make less than a quarter? Do you make a quarter million dollars a year? No. Yeah, then you can't afford a house. Yeah. And that's it. That's the whole story. And people are just like, oh, you just don't work hard enough. It's like, yeah, I'll just stop everything I spend on for 10 years so I can afford something that my parents paid for, like a tenth of. Yeah. But yeah, just bump off your parents. Dude! What? <laughs> nice. <laughs> that means murder. Well, I wasn't going to think of the other thing you were probably suggesting. I definitely wasn't. <laughs> Moving to my base. Photographer. <coughs> okay. Pork sandwich. You're going to love power gloves. They provide a major boost to all the strength. Using hand if you're scaling a cliff with a rope, you'll be able to make your way to the top. You also... So are these things that do things slightly better but consume battery? Yeah. What the hell was that? Oh, pardon me. Hey dude. Hey dude. Drop. Actually, wait, you know what we're gonna do? I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do.
Okay, so the pavers are there. Um. Yep. Why, why am I not seeing any? Ah. Oh. Everything's getting too expensive. I go on um, shopping with mom today. I bought the food because, like, I don't pay rent, so I yeah. just buy the food bill. And usually it, like, sort of squares up to about the same. Mm -hmm. I can finally go to everyone, stop eating my food! Because I bought it. Anyway. Mm. But the whole thing was, like, mom was going around and was like, oh my god, like, hash browns are $5. And I'm just like, I don't know how much they're supposed to be. Yeah. It's when... That's why five dollars for a hash brown? That's insane. No, a pack of hash browns. A pack. Yeah. Oh, uh, well, I don't know about grocery store for like and how many. Yeah, and, like that's what I don't get. It's like, oh my god, that's cheap. It's like how cheap, like how expensive is it supposed to be? Or like, oh my god, that's extortionate. It's just like fifty cents. What's it supposed to be? Okay. I buy food. Somehow money goes away from my pocket, and I got food. Yeah. Um, I guess I'm at this one. No. <laughs> okay. No oh, we Let's see if we can do it. D -d do it. Have you ever watched Robot Ch Unbelievable. <laughs> Robot Chicken? Yeah. Uh, no. Oh, okay. Seems dumb. Yeah, okay. That's the end of that one. Mm -hmm. Um, how did you find the um, Clarkson books? Oh, did That's pretty good. Uh, yeah, yeah, they were decent. I, I'm really not used to the um collection of. Wait, what did I just build? I bought a post office box. What were you supposed to do? I'm supposed to kill myself. I can help you. That's what I'm supposed to do. That's a good thing you can just dismantle it and put another thing up. A zip line. Yes. Do you mind checking if Googling uh, zip lines for this and see if I can make them with a level 1 PCC. Because, um, I'm, I'm an actual fucking brain dead moron. Like, for real. Stage 1 PCC? Yeah. Because it doesn't list it here for some reason. Tier 1 zipline base cost 1 level 2 PCC. It, it lock, okay, I need level 2s. Okay. Um. Recycle. Okay. <laughs> Let's get. Yep. Fabricate equipment. Fab! Oh, four. Yeah, that's great. We shall see you next time. Will we?